Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we are unboxing and taking a quick look at the Windows Dev Kit 2023, also known as Project Volterra. This was just released. It was announced back at Build 2022, but it was announced on Monday that this is now available to buy and it was basically available uh, to ship for next day delivery. So uh, here we are, we can see we have some nondescript uh, boxing here. Uh, that's because this is not a consumer device. There is a Windows logo, which is pretty cool. Uh, but this is not a consumer device. This is a, a device designed for developers uh, to be able to optimize their apps for Windows on ARM and your processing units. Here's the device, and we also get this sort of quick start guide here uh, telling you that there's a native ARM toolchain that you can download, as well as what all the ports are, all the buttons. Interestingly, there's a boot to USB button as well as boot to UEFI button on the side. Uh, anyway, we'll put that to the side for one second. Here is what else we get in the box. This should be our power cord, which um, as far as I'm aware is pretty similar to the power cord you get with a Surface Dock 2. I think the wattage is slightly lower, but the actual cable, the actual barrel style connection is the same. So if you have a Surface Dock lying around, you might just be able to plug in Volterra straight to that. Anyway, there's the uh, the UK power plug since I'm in the UK, and here is the uh, power cord and brick, of course. Let's uh, get this wrapping off here, and we'll show you what that looks like. Um, yeah, this is very similar to uh, the Surface Dock. The Surface Dock's power brick, I think, is quite a bit bigger than this and probably quite a bit more powerful, but um, the actual connector is uh, exactly the same, which uh, is... Uh, pretty handy if you've already got a surface dock laying around. So there we are, that goes in there like that. And there you are. Okay, let's get everything out of the way and let's take a look at the device itself. It comes in this uh, recyclable um, material, I guess. It's basically just a, a sleeve and you can uh, pull it out like so. There we are. And here is the device. It's a plastic little box. So since it's plastic, it's going to show fingerprints like nobody's business. So um, there you are, we can see the Microsoft logo on the back as well as all of the regulatory information. There's four screws which can be uh, taken off, taken off, unscrewed, uh, to get access to the internals. There's not really much to upgrade. I believe you can upgrade the storage, but that's probably about it. Anyway, yes, here's the ports. We've got our power button here, our UEFI and boot menu buttons, two USB-C ports, three USB-A ports on the back, an Ethernet jack, and our power connector, as well as mini display ports. So... On the inside, we have 32 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of NVMe SSD storage, and we are powered by the Snapdragon 8CX uh, Gen 3 system on a chip, which is uh, Qualcomm's latest flagship ARM processor for PCs. On the front here, you can see there is an LED that comes on. This is just to let you know that the device is powered on when you don't have it connected to a display, for example. So this setup process should pretty much be identical to any other Windows 11 PC you've used in the last year. Hit the power button. A boot screen will appear, it will begin the first run process, and you should be good to go once you hit the desktop. Um, I will say the boot screen, at least on this monitor, is off-center. I'm not too sure why that is. I believe they've hard-coded the resolution of the UEFI and the boot screens and stuff uh, for a 16x9 4K monitor, perhaps. So um, that's why things are looking off-center on this 3x2 monitor, which is slightly higher resolution than 4K. Um, Hopefully that looks fine on other monitors. I've not been able to test. Uh, anyway, yes, you can see here we're about to load up into the out-of-box experience. That process is pretty much identical. In fact, it is identical to any other Windows PC. The actual stock image on this device is a normal, you know, a preloaded version of Windows. It's basically identical or almost identical to a version of Windows you'd get on a Surface. And that's probably no coincidence. This device was built by Microsoft. And although they're not calling it a Surface... It's basically a Surface at heart. Um, so, you know, it comes with Office preloaded. It comes with Microsoft Journal. It comes with a bunch of other, those other sort of apps you would expect. Um, the only thing it doesn't come with is the Surface app because technically it's not a Surface, uh, even though it was built basically by the same people. Um, the one thing I will say you should do once you hit the desktop is check for updates immediately. It's running a slightly out-of-date version of Windows 11 version 22H2. And also there's a day one firmware update, which will probably sort of make things a bit better. Um, so, uh, yeah, once you're in, make sure you jump into settings, go down to Windows Update, check for updates. And, um, yeah, you will see that there is a firmware update ready to download. And that will download and install just like firmware updates do on other Surface devices. 
And actually, while we're here, let's quickly run a task manager and show you that, yes, this is Volterra. We are running the Snapdragon Compute platform with 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is the only config you can get. Um, but that's plenty of RAM for um, testing apps and whatnot, and perhaps even daily driving. Again, this is a developer kit. It's not designed for that, but you never know. Uh, some people may buy this and just use it as a sort of energy efficient, lightweight desktop PC. Anyway, there you are. That's a quick look at Windows Dev Kit 2023, aka Project Volterra. Thank you so much for watching, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.